Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. And I'm super excited to be scrutinizing another video clip for you guys today. This time it looks like we're going to Russia and I can't wait to take a look at this Jack and Jill type format uh, competition. I don't know who's in this competition. I have no clue, but I can't wait to give you my big fat Right into it. I don't know who's who. So far, I'm liking the outfits. Some of these folks are looking real sharp. I see a real energy. It feels like people are, are excited to be out social dancing and competing. This looks great. Ooh, I can tell this is this is gonna be real competitive. Let's check it out. Okay. Okay, this is good. They're giving them a little bit more time to breathe, to play around with their partners. All right, that was that was good. Saw real personality between the two of that the previous couple. Yeah, this couple's real grounded. See what they do when it's quiet like this. Nice. Yes. Hey, looking good with those swing outs. All right, who, who we got next? Okay. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, call response, looking good. I love to see when couples do that, like they actually play off of each other's energy and creativity. That's what it's all about, it's working together. Okay. Yes. They're having a good time. That's good to see. Yeah.
Yes! This band is this band is nice. They're they're keeping me in the groove of remembering this melody. Okay, so they get a round two. This is good. This is what I was hoping would happen. Okay, <laughs> nice splits at the end. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I love when dancers do that little head part. Mm. Having a good time. This is this is what it's all about. It's, it's just being able to get out there and have a good time. Man, this is great to see. Yes. Can't leave that out. You gotta have it. Man, this was really fun and refreshing to watch. I can't wait to give you guys my opinion on this. All right, guys, that was really fun. Uh, Indie Hop really is a subjective art form, and I know a lot of people don't know that when they watch dance competitions, they think there is a way to do something and there isn't a way. 
And obviously there are those parameters when those parameters have been clearly outlined. And so most of swing dancing doesn't really outline those things. Everybody kind of has their approach to do things, but no one really says what is and what it isn't and what should and what shouldn't be, um, except for me. So I'm the only one that really gives you guys uh, my perspective on what, uh, what I value in swing dancing. And many of those things are, tend to lean more on the objective side, uh, and some of them are more on the subjective side. So let me just jump right into that standard for those who are just joining us for the first time. There's three concepts that I look for. I look for uh, timing, I look for control, and I look for creativity. Those are the three things that the audience is also looking for and the experienced judge who's been dancing for years. So if a dancer can have all three of those components, they typically are the first place winner. If they have two of them, they're generally second place. If they have one, they could be recognized as a couple that needs to be in the top tier. And so when I talk about control, that basically means can the dancers do the technique? And what does that even mean? Can, can the leader look clear doing what the leader's role is and the follower look clear doing the follower role? And can they do it without fighting each other? Some people will say, it looks like they had clean technique. The audience will say, they're really, really good. And for me, I just like to say control because it just makes it simple to say that you can have a subjective way of doing, how you, doing what you do what you do, but ultimately, are you in control of that? And does it look appealing in some way where it looks controlled to the audience? Now, the couple that had the best control to me, I will say right now, probably they could have been higher in my book if they had better creativity, but I put them in third place. And it's this couple right here. This couple, uh, let me pull them up. She had a, let me turn it down real quick. So that, she had like a flower dress, like it was blue and it had like yellow flowers. He had a maroon shirt and blue pants. What I really love about this couple is that they have basically utilize the technique of Lindy Hop in a way that's very identifiable. Most of the moves that they're doing are not original moves. Um, the way that they're done are kind of derivative, but what I respect about it, it's actually identifiable. I can see moves. I can, I can clearly name them, those vintage sets. But what I like most is they are incredibly controlled. I don't see the leader moving too much more than the follower. They're equally moving together. It doesn't look like they're deliberately messing up. Um, of course, they're doing moves, like I said, that are identifiable, but for me, they had the best control overall. And I would even go to say that they had the most, um, the most detail and uh, flexibility when it comes to manipulating the technique, the control. They were moving in different ways and, um, and more freely than some of the other couples. So uh, big shout out to them. They were really, really good. I really like them. Now, my second place couple, this was kind of tough because I was kind of vacillating between my first and second place couple. And this couple really goes to, um, my second place goes to, she had black shirt, kind of a gray dress, had some like purple in it. And he had like a black, you know, jacket with a white t-shirt and black pants. Here they are right here. Ah, th this couple was beautiful. What I love about them Number one is there's an elegance to their control. I don't really see the leader working too hard to set up things for the follower. I can actually pay more attention to the follower in these movements uh, because of that. Uh, I also can see the little subtle movements that the follower is doing uh, because the leader's not moving too much. He's adding a little bit of things there. She's able to improvise on the tail end and it's still appealing to the audience and not distracting. Like even this part with the swing outs, it's just beautiful. Moving together, they were way up there for me. Really, really liked them. Um, they had clearly the control, but they also had the timing part. I think the third place couple had, I would say better timing, but I rated it a little bit lower because I felt like the moves were more derivative in the timing and, and not uh, more original. And, and generally if they're derivative, it just means you practice that over and over and over, watching someone else, and then you just place it in the right spot. So it's made to look like inspiration. It's made to look like it's happening in the moment, but there's something that's kind of hollow about that, that I don't like. So I thought the third place couple actually had better time and better control, but the second place couple looked a little bit more genuine in their movements, uh, mainly because I could see more of their personality. So that's what I look for in my top uh, three. So that's third place, second place. My first place, this was kind of tough. Um, I lean more on the value of creativity 
Of course, those, those other two are really important. Timing is important when you're doing a presentation for the audience so people can value the music and hear it and feel an emotion. The technique or control is important because we're part of a legacy where the dance comes from. So we don't want to just abdicate all of the movements in exchange for something new all the time. We have to have kind of a, a healthy balance. And I think um, the spirit of Lindy Hop really resides in the creativity part. And so um, the couple that really stood out to me that was the most creative was this couple right here. Yeah, he had a hat on. Uh, she had the yellow shirt. This, these were my favorite two dancers. Look at that. She's doing all these amazing footwork variations along with the leader, but they are not fighting each other. He's adding more on that exaggerated swing out. She's not trying to upstage him in those moments, and he's not trying to upstage her. Little tip of the hat there. But what I really like is the elasticity in his movement. He's not allowing his partner to move with a consistent elasticity, meaning that you can always tell what's going to happen next. He's, he's varying up the intensity of the movements so that there's a bit of a surprise. He was really doing that with the swing outs, and that's what really made me uh, pay attention to this couple. It said that they have a little bit more control of the technique to vary the types of suggestions that are led to their partner. And I, th I think he's he, he crushed that. She crushed it on the syncopations. And for those that don't know what a syncopation is, most people will have a different way of explaining it. I just like to call it a rhythm within a rhythm. She's adding all types of things on top of the music that almost looked like she was a drummer with their feet. And I love that. I love that about this particular couple. And I really feel like for me, if I was watching Lindy Hop and I wanted to see something a little more original and uh, identifiable, but also with the music, they had all three of those elements for me. I would say they lean more towards the creative side than the control polish looking side. I think the third place couple had that the most. But again, that's just looking at it with one type of elasticity where it allows you to kind of actually see what's going to happen next. First place couple didn't have that kind of elasticity. It was a bit tighter. So you could see that there were some intensity changes with the energy level. And I love that. I love that. Let me know what you guys think about this competition in the comment section below. Big shout out to everybody. Particularly, there was a follower. She had white on. She was my favorite dancer. This follower right here. Uh, she's got all white on. Just some of the stuff that she was doing was so bold. I love the, the attitude. I love the style. I love the syncopations. It just sometimes it's that way. Sometimes you just you are you stand out by yourself, and sometimes you stand out with your partner. So she's my favorite dancer. You guys heard my ranking on that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you haven't started doing this, you should check out my school below. I've got about 25 free courses to help you guys get started to do Lindy Hop. Now I'm not one to just kind of make Lindy Hop difficult to be an important teacher. I'm one to really just demystify and strip away all of the complexity, so you can get down to the heart of it and maximize your learning curve as fast as you want to. So um, check out some of those free courses below. Um, if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you.